Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of November. So this could happen at any time in November, but keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? And the timing is fluid. So we got two cards that fell out. The first one was bread, period of prosperity in abundance. So there is a period of prosperity and abundance here. Table, hard work ahead. So there's still some hard work ahead to obtain that prosperity and abundance. What else do we have for Pisces? New investment, new investment. You have a new investment here, new money coming in or more money coming in or I don't know, something like that. Ooh, unexpected help is arriving. So this is a star, right? There's unexpected help arriving for you. Then we have, you don't know your value. So you don't know your, there's something, it's interesting because what I saw was the Ace of Pentacles when I said no money. The Ace of Pentacles is all about value, but this, this came out. So it's like you don't know your value. You have an opportunity for prosperity and abundance, but, you know, and maybe there's some unexpected help that has arrived. Maybe you don't see it, you know. I don't know if some of you have an ex here that you're dealing with. There's something to do with an ex. Uh, oh, this card just fell off. Clean slate, starting with a clean slate, starting from scratch. So you may be starting from scratch. Unexpected help is arriving. That's a wish fulfilled. That's a dream. You know, the star card is a card of dreams and wish fulfillment and unexpected help. So there's some sort of unexpected help here that may be coming to help increase your value. Because I saw the Ace of Pentacles. There's, this is a peri period of prosperity and abundance for you, but there's still some hard work ahead. You have to create it. And, and, and that's interesting because this is like create it. This is you got, a, you got an opportunity to create whatever you want. You can write the story, okay? You got the opportunity to create whatever, whatever you want right now, okay? But, and there's help here. There's somebody that can help you. There's a star. Maybe you were dealing with a star. the empress the empress so the empress is the birth of a new life okay time to act upon your plans creativity is rewarded luxurious or abundant resources now the empress is abundant she's the most abundant of them all the empress archangel gabrielle so this is beautiful this is a beautiful new beginning the be beginning of a new life the empress does everything with love she's unconditional love so uh, she grows things. She's she's a creator. She creates things. She she nurtures things. She she's abundant. She's abundant. She has some sort of ability to make things grow. Okay, she's glowing. She's beautiful. She's uh, nurturing. She does everything with love. She maybe she's your unexpected help that has arrived. If you are a female watching this, this may be your energy. This is a time of birth. Okay, this is a birth. It's the, it is. It's a birth. It's a birth of a new life. Could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Um, but it's, it's a time of, of uh, creating, creating something, creating a new story, creating a new life. Luxurious or abundant resources are coming your way. So this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Six of Swords may require moving, okay, because this is moving. Uh, it is. It's moving on. It's moving to a better place. It's leaving something behind, leaving some sort of trouble behind. Um, Hierophant. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. The Empress represents Taurus and the Hierophant represents Taurus. Oh, faith, belief, believe in yourself, have faith. This is about commitment. Commit yourself to something better. This, this is, uh, the Six of Swords is leaving behind the Five of Swords, which is conflict and 
uh, power struggles and competition and ego and whatever. There's, a, there's an opportunity to go to a better place. It does require movement. You need to have faith. You need to believe. This has to do with commitment. It has to do with committing yourself to going in that direction. Because the Six of Swords is moving. It is moving in that direction. Below you is the Four of Swords. Death of a situation. Death of a person or idea. I feel like you've been thinking. You've been contemplating. Maybe taking a break from life. Maybe, maybe really going over your resources and what you have and what you don't have. Behind you is the Judgment Reverse. A poor judgment call. Somebody made a poor judgment call. They didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. This is in the past. This is bad karma. Maybe you've experienced some bad karma. I don't know. But the moon, oh, the moon, that's your card. But the judgment reverse is moving on from a bad choice. This is feeling guilty. Um, not answering the higher call. There's a need for, maybe you're going to, you know, maybe you've been, maybe you judged a situation wrongly. That's poor judgment. Poor judgment call in the past. Made a poor judgment call. Mm. Two cards for above you. Knight of Swords and the Death Reverse. There may be something that's not over. Right underneath the Empress. The Death card Reverse is like, I'm not sure if there's some something that isn't over yet. Uh, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is... Uh, direct being direct taking action putting plans in action um must do this i gotta do this a new idea taking a new approach before it's too late before it's over before it ends because death it reverses like a near-death experience something isn't over yet so that's right above you what's happening now somebody's about to do something the knight of swords is is gotta do it i gotta do it i gotta do it Somebody didn't do something just with the judgment reverse. That's bad karma. It's a poor judgment call. It's guilty. Being held accountable. I'm not sure if somebody has received some karma for their poor judgment. Emperor in the future. Okay, so what do we got down here? We got the Ten of Cups. Strength reversed. Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles in your outcome. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. Short-lived success. Um, lack of abundance. Uh, dead end. Uh, unrealistic. There's no growth here. It's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. You may need to plant your seeds someplace else. Time to plant your seeds someplace else. There may be some karma or something that's happening that's something that you did a long time ago. There's a lack of growth or something like that. Um, your overall outcome is the Queen of Pentacles, which is abundance, okay? Uh, security, stability, a uh, new enterprise, a new project, a new job, uh, hard work. That's hard work, hard work, hard work securing something. I feel like you are going to be in a very good place. You're going to be in a secure place. I feel like you are capable of success. You're going to get we, underneath it is the Queen of Swords, which is a new approach. Taking a new approach, being honest and authentic will bring you security and stability. Uh, so your outside influence is the Strength card reverse. That's weak. Uh, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is weak or if they're ill or if they're sick. Or um, a Strength card reverse may be depressed sick, ill, no courage, no confidence, doubtful, you know, doubtful. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has given up. What is this strength card reverse? Your outside influence is weak. Maybe you've been weak. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see. What is that strength card reversed? World card reverse. Unfinished business. You got some there's some sort of unfinished business here. Resisting change, uh flogging a dead horse. Ego, ego, there's ego here. There's, there's unfinished business. Uh, your advice is happiness. Go after your happiness. Ten of Cups, there's an opportunity for happiness here. Follow your heart. There's a spiritual blessing here. You need to take a new approach. You need to be honest. You need, need to be authentic. Um, I believe that, uh, I don't know. 
Maybe you don't feel adequate. Maybe you don't feel like you're good enough. Maybe you feel like there's no forgiveness. Maybe there has been no forgiveness. Judgment reverse is lack of forgiveness, but it's making a poor judgment call as well. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. Um, and your future is the emperor. So the emperor is taking charge, making a decision, making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. This is somebody that is very rigid, very distant, um, wants to do everything, the, do the best thing, make the right decision. Um, a leader, a boss, a judge, um, making a decision. There's something about commitment here, making a decision about commitment, making a de decision maybe about marriage may have to do with marriage because the Hierophant card is about marriage. It has to do with marriage. It also has to do with funerals. So I'm not sure if there's somebody here that is moving on because it's the uh, Six of Swords is moving on. Somebody is making a decision. They are going to be moving on. They're either moving on to a new life, which the Empress gives birth to a new life. So this is definitely a new life. Um, You need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to be open-minded. You need to be uh, practical and realistic at this time. If you want abundance in your life, you gotta you got to be able to be honest and upfront. Speak your mind. Speak the truth. Maybe there's forgiveness that is needed. Maybe somebody needs forgiveness. Maybe, maybe there's something to do with forgiveness here. I'm sorry. I have a little bit of a cold. And I can't hold it in. <laughs> I'm holding it in pretty well. Anyhow, um, three of cups reverse. Now, the three of cups reverse is parting ways. This party is over. This, there's been some sort of third party here. There's been some meddling or gossiping or, or ganging up or something like that. This is dashed expectations, parting ways from friends or family or relationship. There's been a lack of emotional growth. Um, there's been gossip. There's been ganging up. There's probably been, there may have even been some issues with the children, you know. Um, we may have a sudden departure here. Somebody may be making a sudden departure, extremely sudden. The Empress gives birth just like that, too. You never know when it's going to happen, just like that, okay? So something is going to happen just like that. It's going to be a sudden change because that death card could be a death. It's right above the hero font. You know, so there's going to be a sudden change, which leads to a new life because Empress gives birth to a new life. It's beautiful. It is beautiful and it leads to abundance. The Empress is the ultimate abundance. Okay. She is the ultimate abundance because she does everything with love and love brings everything else in. A lot of people don't realize that though. Spur of the moment decision. I believe that there's a spur of the moment decision that is being made. Somebody is going to be uh, going down a new path. They've been indecisive, but this is suddenly leaving. Sudden, some suddenly leaving. Suddenly going someplace. Wherever they're going, the grass is greener over there. It's pretty darn clear that it is. See how green it is. Flogging a dead horse, resisting change. Somebody has been resisting change. There's no success here. They've been letting their ego and their pride get in the way of success. But this is like getting an epiphany, getting it, getting an, uh, an awakening, a wake-up call. I wonder if somebody's gotten some sort of information or they've had some sort of revelation or they just see the truth or some sort of clarity here. Um, I do believe that we have, there's going to be a communication, there's going to be a, a conversation that is had. We have somebody here that has been thinking, they've been taking a break, they've been contemplating, they've been thinking about their future, they've been suffering, they've been in a lot of pain, they've been in a lot of heartache, they've been held back by fear, but now they're letting go of their fear and they're taking action because that is what the emperor does. The emperor has no fear. This is somebody that is ready. They're ready, they're ready, they're ready, they're ready to fight, they're ready for commitment, or they're ready to be loved because the well, the empress and the emperor are a perfect match, okay? They're meant to be together. They're a power couple. couple. But it does require parting ways because it goes like this. Okay, we got the emperor parting ways with a third party. It's parting ways from uh, somebody that like it, that is not their friend. Okay, this is like parting ways. It's 
There's no happiness here. There's nothing to celebrate. There's no joy. There's no success. And there is no success because the world card is reversed. It may have been short-lived success with the Seven of Pentacles. You know, somebody may have even went somewhere or, or lived with somebody, but there's no success. Made a poor judgment call. Moving on from that poor choice. Somebody is definitely moving on from a poor choice. It's like they're ready to be judged because the emperor is mirroring the judgment reverse. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to be held accountable. I'm ready to tell the truth. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just ready to be free. I'm ready to be free. I'm ready for my abundance. I'm ready for what I deserve. And I feel like there's unexpected help arriving to guide you towards that love. We have somebody here whose ego has stopped them okay stopped them from success okay we have the strength card reverse next to the world card reverse the strength card reverse is ego the, the world card reverse is success so we have somebody here who has lost sight of their goals you know they've they let ego and their pride get in the way um this is an attitude adjustment has been needed but they were too weak somebody was too weak to um acknowledge acknowledge something but now it's like i'm ready i'm ready this is somebody that is absolutely ready they're ready to part ways they're ready to part ways because all they want is happiness i just want happiness this is this is it you know this is an opportunity this is a spiritual blessing this is this is the uh an abundance of happiness in love it's fulfillment it's a permanent love so i feel like we have somebody here that is going to be making a decision and i think it's a life-changing decision they've thought about it a lot they have thought about it. this is somebody that is um, very authoritative very intelligent very very sharp smart doesn't just fly by the seat of their pants you know makes intelligent wise decisions there's making a decision to part ways there's been a delay but this and, and delay has been because of ego it's also because of fear, fear of rejection, fear of not being accepted, fear of not being forgiven for the stupid mistakes that were made. But the Empress does everything with love, so she's, she's unconditional love, so... And I feel like you've been in a place where you don't know your value. And maybe it's because of, you know, maybe you were neglected from your mother or your father. King of Pentacles reverse next to that Queen of Pentacles. So we have somebody here that doesn't feel adequate. They are insecure. They're unstable. They've let uh, money and materialistic things get, get in between a relationship. They chose their job. They chose their career. They chose their money over love. But now I feel like there's a new, there's a new realization because underneath that is the queen of swords. That's a new idea, right? It's a new realization, realizing the truth, realizing somebody didn't know their value either. It's interesting. You don't know your value in this card. Then we have the king of, or the king of uh, pentacles and the queen of pentacles reversed. Okay. One's upright, one's reversed. So we got somebody here that didn't know their value. Now they're learning their value. It's a new approach. It's a new idea. It's seeing, realizing your value. You're real. You didn't know your value. Now you're realizing your value. Congratulations. Going after what you deserve. And that may mean parting ways. I do think that you are parting ways from somebody that, uh, I don't know, maybe they don't love you. King of Cups reversed. There's an unrequited love situation. Maybe you weren't listening to your gut. You weren't listening to your heart. I don't know. I feel like you're going to be starting with a clean slate. Somebody is coming to guide you. That unexpected help is arriving. Maybe they've already arrived. Maybe they've already arrived to guide you out of this insecure, unstable situation. They're going to bring you growth. They're going to bring you abundance. I mean, the Empress does everything with love. She's She's nurturing. She creates. She's a creator. She creates. Okay. She, and she, anything she creates, she grows because she nurtures it. Okay. Um, 
time to, to act upon your plans. And that's the Knight of Swords that we saw that was right underneath it. Acting on plans, okay, will bring you abundance. I think that you've already come up with a plan. You know what you need to do. So uh, it's time to start over and start over from scratch. Good luck.